gun control hinges on the idea that so-called gun violence is epidemic across America. As President Obama said about the 2012 Aurora, Colorado Batman movie theater shooting, quote, every, every day, day the, the number, number of young, young people, people we lose to violence is about the same as the number of people we lost in that movie theater. For every Columbine or Virginia Tech, there are dozens gunned down on the streets of Chicago and Atlanta. Here in New what he didn't say, however, is that every day, 290 people are killed by FDA-approved prescription drugs. And that's the conservative number published by the Journal of the American Medical Association. The source of this information? JAMA, Volume 284, Number 4, July 26, 2000. Authored by Dr. Barbara Starfield, MD, of the John Hopkins School of Hygiene and Public Health. That study, which is 12 years old, and drug deaths have risen considerably since then, documents 106,000 deaths per year from the adverse effects of FDA-approved prescription medications. To reach this number from outbreaks of violent shootings, you'd have to see an Aurora, Colorado Batman movie massacre take place every hour of every day, 365 days a year. If a massacre of people using slugs of lead is bad, why is a massacre of people using deadly chemicals perfectly acceptable? No one in Washington talks about prescription drug deaths. There are no sobbing victims shown on the evening news. This chemical massacre happens quietly, behind closed doors. Yet to achieve this level of mass death in the world of plane crashes, for example, you'd have to see a jumbo jet airliner crashing into the ground every day of the year. But that's only the beginning of the mass death caused by modern medicine, where greed-driven doctors are routinely bribed by the drug giants and thereby make the joker James Holmes look like a Boy Scout in comparison. As Natural News has revealed, just one company, GlaxoSmithKline, had a bribery network of 49,000 doctors who received financial kickbacks to prescribe more Glaxo pharmaceuticals to more patients. The company admitted to bribing doctors and paid a $3 billion settlement to the federal government in 2012. According to the report Death by Medicine by doctors Gary Knoll, Carolyn Dean, Martin Feldman, Deborah Razio, and Dorothy Smith, the medical establishment kills 783,936 people in the United States every year. Those deaths include 106,000 Americans killed from drug side effects, 115,000 Americans killed from bed sores, 98,000 Americans killed from medical error, 88,000 Americans killed from infections, 32,000 Americans killed from surgery, 37,000 Americans killed by unnecessary medical procedures, and much more. See naturalnews.com for links to the original data. The bottom line total comes to 783,936 deaths every year from conventional medicine, that's drugs and surgery medicine. It means you are 6,200% more likely to be killed by your doctor than by a homicidal shooter. According to the CDC's numbers from 2007, the total number of homicide shooting deaths in the United States each year is about 12,600. This is from Death's final data for 2007 National Vital Statistics Report at the Centers for Disease Control. This means that your risk of being killed by your doctor is 62 times higher than the risk of being killed by a homicidal shooter. Put another way, that's a 6,200% higher risk. It seems that before we even think about the issue of gun control, we need a national debate on doctor control. After all, when doctors inadvertently kill people by prescribing deadly chemotherapy cocktails or deadly prescription drugs, they don't even get arrested for it. But they do get financial kickbacks 
exotic vacations paid by the drug companies, free travel, free meals, and other perks of being a big pharma sellout. Plus, they're free to go on killing other people over and over again. While doctors obviously don't intend to kill people, they nonetheless keep doing so as long as they get their bribes, kickbacks, and perks. If politicians really wanted to protect Americans from being killed, they'd call for restrictions on the prescribing of deadly pharmaceuticals. More important than gun control, what we really need now is doctor control or big pharma control. Learn more at naturalnews.com. This is Mike Adams, the health ranger, the editor of naturalnews.com, and the executive director of the nonprofit Consumer Wellness Center.